Russian S-300 and TORM-1 missiles appeared in the Ohio state of US in the United States. At the Norfolk Southern Railway Station in Bellevue, Ohio, it is noticed a train with mock-ups of the Tor M1 complexes and the S300 launcher with the 5N63-30N6 radar. These models are very similar to those that the US Air Force wanted to acquire four years ago. Then they placed an order for two copies of the complex in order to subsequently use them in exercises. There are four vehicles in total seen, two of each on the pair of commercial flatbed cars. The exact owners and or operators of the rail cars or their cargo are not currently known. At first glance, one car has what looks to be a Tor M1 along with a 5P85S transporter erector launcher, which is associated with multiple versions of the S300 system. The other has what appears to be a variant of a mobile tracking and missile guidance radar known variously as the 5N63 and 30N6 as well as by the NATO reporting name Flap Lid, also a component of a number of variants of the S300 along with another Tor M1. The S300 system is a long-range surface-to-air missile system that is also capable of engaging certain threats at very high altitudes. The system also has an obscure secondary surface-to-surface -surface strike capability, which Russian forces have actively employed in the course of the war in Ukraine. Tor M1 is a tracked, self-contained surface-to-air missile system designed to provide short-range defense against fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters and cruise missiles. Closer inspection of the vehicles on the rail cars seen in the yard in Ohio strongly suggests that the FP-85S transporter erector launcher and the 5N63-30N6 flap lid radar vehicle at least are very good quality mock-ups. The two trucks, which have no tires on their wheels, are clearly on trailers. In addition, they have what appear to be fixed supports not found on actual examples of either vehicle. Beyond all this, they look very similar to pictures of known mock FP-85S transporter erector launchers that were included in US Air Force contracting documents posted online four years ago. At the same time, the service was expressly looking to buy two high-fidelity facsimiles of transporter erector launchers associated with PMU-1 and two variants of the S-300 and included the images as examples of what it wanted to buy. It's unclear whether the Air Force ultimately completed any acquisition of faux S-300 transporter erector launchers or whether the service had any at the time already or has purchased others since.